Hey guys, and welcome to something a little bit different. This, of course, is Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo. Now, this is not my first rodeo with this game. Um, this demo, I should say, actually, because this is about my third playthrough of it. Um, I have tried to get my new, really powerful computer to record this on the PC, but it just, it won't. Uh, I just keep getting rendering overload warning message uh, on OBS. I've, I tried so many different settings, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why my computer is just straight up refusing to record the, uh, the, the PC version of this game. Because the PC demo is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's 60 frames a second. It's lush. The Xbox One X version... Uh, hmm. Now, I played Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X. And that game ran on those machines like a dream. It was beautiful. It was buttery smooth. Um, the Xbox One X port in particular was phenomenal. This, oh boy, this, uh, this feels like it's running at 30 frames a second badly. Um, I'm hoping that's just a demo. Or the demo. Uh, we shall see. Uh, I am actually technically at work. I'm on my break at the moment. <laughs> I need to get this demo up and, and finished. So I'm actually on my, my lunch break right now. So uh, when I figure out what the issue is on my PC, uh, why the game just drops frames like a bitch, uh, we'll do another run of the PC version, for sure. But anyway, let's just have a look at the game together, shall we? The final game may differ from this demo. You cannot save or load your game in this demo. Yes. The new plague is spreading at a terrifying rate, embedding uh, itself in the corpses, already uh, shambling the city streets. Jill has encountered immense difficulties in her attempt. Oh. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. How's that going mm. for you? Uh, the city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. I know what awaits you. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Well, we can do that. So, first impressions of the demo. Um, it's pretty. Does it look better than Resident Evil 2? Yeah, maybe. 
maybe it does. Um, the animation with the mercenaries is absolutely superb. So what do we know so far? We're on the train. If you've played the original Resident Evil 3, you will know that the first part of the game is trying to get the train moving. Um, I haven't played Resident Evil 3 for quite some time. Uh, but but the mercenaries are cool. The voice acting is good. I like Jill's outfit. I am nostalgic for her old outfit. Uh, but her new outfit is good. Um, the situation is very grim. So let's head up to Raccoon City and uh, have a little dig around. UB... CS ammo crafting guide ammo crafting is back on the battlefield if you run out of ammo your gun is about as useful as a wet fart I didn't actually read this Want to stay alive out there then get these basic formulas into your skull So handgun is gunpowder times two shotgun shells is gunpowder and high-grade gunpowder Mag ammo is high-grade gunpowder times two once you've once you've stocked up get out here uh, get out there and join the party. Let's give these dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Yeah. Hm. Were it so easy. Okay. So, we're aiming with the, um, control pad, which, <laughs> but it is what it is. The controls are basically exactly the same. However, we do have a new trick. Remember in Resident Evil 3, they, they introduced that dodge mechanic, which I never really thought worked? We kind of do that here. And yeah, it's better. I like it. Kind of. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Tabloid front page. The cannibal murders a complete digest. In the grey of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpster nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had eaten, been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So, who done it? Who has been munching on man steak? Man flesh, as my missus would say. Uh, <laughs> we are here at news comment giving a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling just for the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, ask the tough questions and come back with horror stories that make your stomach roll. Turn the page for the scoop. Hmm. So the situation has been escalating just like it was in the original. Very interesting stuff. So it looks like we're going to be in constant um, communication with Carlos, which is, yeah, that's cool. He's going to kind of be like Marvin Branner, um, or Brannan from RE2, which, yeah, that works. Uh, let's grab up some powder. Get these herbs as well, because why the fuck not? Yeah, I know how to use the map, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also know how to combine items. Because I've played one or two Resident Evils before, I has. There we go. I like the way Jill also starts with a Glock. She starts with a totally different weapon. It's cool. And yes, veterans of Resident Evil 3. Remember that. But is in a different area. Hmm. Anyway, what else have we got here? UBCS Herbal Field Manual. That just makes tells you how to make herbs, which yeah, we we know that. We we've played a Resident Evil game or two on this channel. Now there's something actually that I do want to show you. Um the detail in this is fantastic. And I must be honest, on the Xbox it looks great, but the performance isn't there. So we've got sudden death bowling. Wolf of the Battlefield. Wolf of the Battlefield? Why that? Mm, isn't that a Resident Evil reference? Disaster. But there is some interesting 
little standouts here. Huh, this was a lot brighter on the PC version. I th oh no, that's what I'm looking for. There we go, Resident Evil 3. Bit of a fourth wall break there, but I kind of like it. Um, Cinema Freak, the year's top films. Yeah, Jill, Carlos, why are you two on a poster? Or shouldn't we be asking these silly questions? Um, yeah, game is absolutely beautiful though. It really is, it's gorgeous. Um, but then Resident Evil 2 was. But as much as I love the RPD, and I do, Resident Evil 3 just has more interesting environments, at least so far, anyway. Um, we've only seen a snippet of the game, but I can't wait to see some more. Look at Raccoon City. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, moving. we've got to get it moving. So we've rescued some more people. Now, what's kind of cool, a zombie. What's cool? I hate aiming with a control pad. Is um, that train, actually, which was featured in the original game, actually has survivors in it. So we haven't been entirely useless. Look how good this game looks. I'm really hoping, for you console players out there, um, I'm really hoping they can get this up to 60 FPS. Or at least smooth out the frame pacing or something. Hey, zomber. Oh, we're on the mean streets of Raccoon City. And I'm going to say it, guys. I'm going to say it. Capcom. Ooh, we got a critical hit. Capcom. How they've reinvented their zombies. Capcom has the best zombies. We want Resident Evil games with zombies. Look at this fucking place. Toy Uncle Super Shop. I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling. Look at this. I'm getting the feeling that Resident Evil 2 Remake was just the appetizer. Look at the frickin' detail everywhere. You fucking zombie bastards. You stay back. And we have a box. Nice. Gunpowder. Do we have any gunpowder? No. Apparently there's still stuff back here. Now, obviously, time right now for me is not unlimited. Far from it. So I am going to gloss past a few things. What have we got here? That's where we came from. I love the, the garbage truck just there. It's just fucked. Super Soaker, please make that an unlockable weapon. That would be great. So there is something still back here. I don't know what though. Now I haven't found everything in this. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, cool. Good to know, good to know. Right, let's uh, go find the meat and the potatoes of this level. Or this mission. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? You see a big transmission tower? That's the substation. Yeah, the frame rate is tanking. Right you mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself could put out a few flames. Fuck you. I like Jill. Jill's got balls. Jill's got balls. Oh, I mean, of course she has. She's a fucking badass, but... I like Jill's personality. She is so freaking cool. And of course I'm going to pre-order this. Um, I want her original outfit. It doesn't make any sense because of the context of the game. Neither does this. She's very exposed on her shoulders and whatnot. She, she should be wearing armor or something. But hey, we're not going to split too many hairs right now. Anyway. Oof. Come on, you bastards. Come to daddy. Evening. The red explosive barrels are still in here in full effect. Oh yeah. Boom! And look at that. These things really rock the house. They're, they're amazing. Amazingly fun to use. I have noticed. Um, look at the zombies. They animate at a much lower frame rate when they're further away. Which is really jarring. Um, and yes, that does happen on the PC as well. 
So yeah, that that's interesting. Now these, uh, look at this. Watch. Remember that? You can shock all the zombies. That makes me think of uh, Resident Evil. Oh, what one was it? Resident Evil 5, where you could shoot the generators and things. That is seems to be unavoidable. And I am just experimenting here. Oh, I'm sorry, Jill. I'm sorry. I'll stop experimenting. So, there we go. You can do that multiple times. Now, the knife in Resident Evil... Oh, fuck. Jill, I'm sorry. Right, let's stop screwing around, shall we? Let, let's be good. Yeah, the knife in Resident Evil 2 remake was really freaking good. Alright, he's done. You're out of here. And who's next? Oh. Excuse my awful aim. Right, I'm gonna go up here. Uh, Jill's not feeling so good, to be honest. Let's use one of those. Okay, let's move on. Now up here there's some stuff, I think. And there's a nice little shortcut. We've got a zomber. I think there's going to be a lot more action in this game because, I mean, Resident... The gunpowder. Get off me, you bitch. I'm doing terribly. I really am. There we go. Yes, because I'm recording. It's the Let's Players Curse. You know. Let's Players Curse is in full effect. So that's all toast. I wish... Right now, our characters actually do have flashlights. Uh, we know this. I wish we could use the flashlights because there are areas in this game that are really freaking dark. Um, so to have a dedicated flashlight button would be nice. It really would. But hey, I guess we can't have everything now, can we? Knife definitely seems like they've doled it down for sure. Um, it doesn't have the quick punch or the lethality that it seemed to in the remake. But, uh, remake 2, I should say. But maybe they will change that, you know? But, I mean, look at Raccoon City. It is stellar. Absolutely stellar. Right, we have something here what do we have drugstore owner's journal august 24 this new hair tonic from umbrella is just flying off the shelves the stuff they make always works wonders it's no surprise i was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment my instincts are paying off literally just uh, i just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out that said the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried maybe i ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code. Not even my wife. That's interesting. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure Queen. And she'd never give it up for a feath. Okay. I've got to try and remember what the code is now. I do know it, but I will show you where to get it. So, I think... 8... 1... 9... No, in that case, it's uh, one, or is it nine, one, eight? There it is. Okay, I did wonder if that was going to be randomized, but look at what this guy has. All of his cash is a red dot sight. So weapons, still modifiable. Uh, this just adds a laser sight to the gun. Uh, I don't know if it actually adds um, uh, more crit damage or what, but... Who knows? But it's cool. I'm glad they kept the whole handgun upgrades uh, into the game. Considering how important 
handgun upgrades are in Resident well, gun upgrades are in general in Resident Evil 3. Look at this poor lady here that's been fucked. Alright, let's go. And not the good kind of fucked. Alright. Let's have a little look around. Oof, we've got deadites. The city streets cruel. Now, if we go in here. Yeah, I knew you was going to get up. There doesn't appear to be any way of, like, once you've been grabbed, you can't seem to get away from the zombies. Unfortunately. Yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to get the, uh, the dodge mechanic down, but it's questionable. Alright, let's see if we can get as many rounds here as possible. Just the one? Really? Well, one's better than none, I suppose. Come on, big boy. Yeah, definitely suffering. Uh, my aim is suffering, I should say. Really, Jill? Thank you. Because of uh, the, the controls, it really is. Like, because here's the thing. Like, in Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, the controls are actually really smooth and nice. But, they, it, I don't know. High grade gunpowder. Uh, yes, please. Make some shotgun cartridges. Just what the doctor ordered. More handgun bullets. Look at that. That's where you get the code. The aqua core. Aqua Cure. V similar vein to uh, Resident Evil, the original, where you had to watch the advert, but not quite, you know. That was an advert on a TV monitor, whereas uh, this is actually just like a sexy woman poster thing. So, you know, same vein. I like it. It's cool. Now, we go through there. We need to go into Moon's Donuts. There's another boom barrel there. Oh, you bitch. You fucking bitch. Come here. Suck my big red barrel. Come on. Damn it, they've kind of... Ah, close enough. Oh no, that actually did get them all. Impressive, Snake. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the fucking bullets, man. Give me the fucking bullets. Uh, we're getting a lot of ammo. Again, I don't know whether that's because this is the demo. Or whether it's because uh, this is a more action-orientated game. And Resident Evil 3 was. Uh, it kept the familiar formula that we love. But it was way more action-orientated. Which is fine. I don't mind that. I like this formula. I like... I would like to have some games that are really horror-centric and, and shit your pants where you're struggling for ammo. And I think there's room. Hey, boys. I honestly think there's some room um, for some more action. Damn it. And I totally led myself into that. Completely. I'm kind of disappointed to see some animations recycled. Oh my god, I completely fucked the pooch there. Right, now, are we really injured again? I'm... This doesn't bode well, actually, guys. Um, right, so, let's go. Now, where was... Ah, it was around here, yeah. No, been there. Ah, here. Let's have a little look inside here. Yes, I know how to use key items game. For God's sakes, what do you take me for? Some kind of moron? Don't answer that. So, what's in here then? High grade gunpowder. Yes, please. Nice. More shells. Well, you can never have too many shotgun shells, can you? I don't think you can. There's still more stuff in here as well. There's loo roll. That is invaluable in the current climate. Oh, no. F8 spray. Uh, usually, I would say no, but in the current climate, I guess. Right, that's all that's here. 
There's nothing out here that... Well, I mean, there is stuff out here, but I just... I don't know what. Let's go back out here. Also, I must admit, I know there was a limit on the Resident Evil 2 demo. Um, you could only play it once. Unless you did some bullshit with making new profiles and things like that. But I've already played this two or three times. Uh, and I know I'm going to play it more. I've really enjoyed this. And I'm definitely going to be playing this more. Uh, we're going to be playing at least once more. Uh, let's crack that open. And hopefully I'm not needed back just yet. Nope. Cool. Right. Oh, actually, before we go anywhere, this guy is a bit of a knob. You want to be careful with him. Wait. Oi, come on now. Don't be greedy. Oh my god, my accuracy. What a waste. Right, okay. Boop. More bullets. Hey guys, follow me over here. Nope, nope. Oh, I thought he was going to get up again then. Come on, boys. I got just what you've been waiting for. A whole barrel of fun. Boom. Sit down. Yep, big fan of the barrels. Really big fan of the barrels. We got a grenade, which, yes, okay, cool. We have some more shotgun shells. Now, what next? Let's have a little look. So we've got the shells. We've kicked some zombies in the balls. Uh, let's go in here. Find this unfortunate man on the floor. So my missus really enjoyed this as well. Um, the first time I played this, I sat down and played the demo with her. And she was fun to play with because she was shitting her pants all the way through it. And we got some sneaky zombies here. We got some sneaky little fuckers. This must be the subway company's office. I reckon you could be right. Kite Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations. In the event of power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so there's no power here, boys. No power here at all. So, let's keep looking. Ah, a hose. Now, question. How the fuck does, uh, does Jill carry the hose? Seriously? How does she carry the hose? Because that's a big hose. I'm just saying. Oh, there's also a bit of information here that we'll have a squiz. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Oof. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters whilst I go out to try and find some more shells. I'm guessing he never came back. If things go south, cut the chain and bust that out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Mm. Well, Jill will certainly make good use of this bad boy. There we go. There is our M3 shotgun. Now we can't actually grab it. Yes, yes. Because we need to throw that. Now, we've used that as many times as we can. What else have we got in here? Uh, so, we take the grenade, I suppose. Um, I'd like to take the gunpowder, but well, we don't need it. We have what we came for. We didn't know what we needed, but we have it. We have the hose. Oh, something to say, my friend. My M3 wants to talk to you, buddy. The spray on the shotgun is rather intense. Oh, you want a little bit of this too, do you? Oh, yes. That's all she wrote. Right, let's get 
a bit of a wiggle on, shall we? Let's go l put the fire out. Best we can. Cut through here. Is our friend in here still? He is. Shit. Ooh, savage. You fucking savage. Get out of here. What a dick. Right. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I guess... We could be sly here, really. Hmm. Ah, bugger. I was going to say, where's the event? We do not have the hose, do we? No. Right, let's go back and get the hose, shall we? Now, the hose was back here. I can't believe, you know... I've never done that before. Again, the Let's Player's curse is in full effect here. Can't believe I forgot the frickin' hose. You know, the most important item. Here's me saying, yeah, well, you know, we've got the hose now. We've got what we came for. <laughs> not that we knew that we needed it. But no. No, we do not. You fool. But now we have what we needed. Boop. Um, right. Now we can get the fuck out of Dodge. Oh, did I get the bullets that were down here? Yes. Yes, I bloody well did. Okay. Oh, game? Auto-saving? Why is that? Oh. Hey, big guy. Hey, he's got some new tricks. He's got some serious new tricks. But unfortunately, that's all we can do to Nemesis. We can knock him down. Um, here's my disappointment with Nemesis so far. He's just Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. A quicker, more agile, more fun Mr. X. Um, look how easy he went down, though. Let's see if we can get him to get back up again. Come on, you... Dickhead. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, God. Hello. Um, problems. Problems have arisen. Have another nade, matey. He will kill you really quickly. And I mean really quickly. But see how like easy and quick he goes down. But sadly... Um, like seriously, sadly, I mean, you you don't appear to get any items for downing him or anything. Which I mean, I guess some people might like that. Um, I'm I'm not happy about that fact. Ooh. Stores. Well, that actually took me ages. My record so far was 18 minutes. And there's 20 dolls to find in the demo. I guess we get something for getting all the dolls. Um, yes, so, thoughts. I like it. I think it's a lot more interesting than Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2 was like a return to the proper formula. And they did a very good job, uh, you know. This, this is crazy cool. I love the detail. I love what they've done. The, the environments, the city, everything. It's, it's just more interesting. Nemesis. <sighs> Nemesis feels like Mr. X, but with a few more tricks. I was really hoping that we could uh, defeat him and uh, loot him and stuff like that. Uh, visually, the, you know, it's quite nice. Uh, the audio is Resident Evil. Great. The zombies are back. They're exactly the same as they were in Remake, which is what we want. 
I'm looking forward to seeing what the hunters are like and the drain demos, and uh, maybe there's some some interesting new enemies as well. The weapons feel fantastic. Um, shotguns a little on the, the the light side. I would have liked a more boomy, delicious shotgun. Um, but there are upgrades in the game, so maybe we will get that. I'm hoping for a little bit more of an open, not open world, because that doesn't make too much sense in the scheme of its Resident Evil 3, but a little bit less linear. Maybe have a couple of different areas that you can visit at one time and you can solve them in any, any way that then open a, a third area, something like that. But yeah, very impressed, very excited, very, very happy. Um, I will do another quick run through on the PC if I can get my PC to record it. I, I don't know. <laughs> Don't know. I don't know why it's not recording it. Especially as I have loads of Steam vouchers to buy the game with, and uh, if I have to buy it on the Xbox, I've got to pay full price. Fuck it. But um, yes, so thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>